Hey everybody, Tim Storacci from Tech 21. And I'm sitting here today with the one and only Frank Bello. Base Monster, Anthrax, <laughs> many other projects. And what we're doing here today is we're gonna talk about his pedal, the Frank Bello Street Driver 48 Signature Sans Amp. This thing is a friggin' beast, and I hope you enjoy this. And right now, Frank's gonna take over. Yeah, so what I do, this is what you're hearing straight out of the amp. This is what I do live. Uh, if you've seen the last Anthrax tour, I use it on the new Anthrax record. These are the settings that are actually in the manual. You can go to the, the Anthrax setting, Frank Bellow settings, and this is the settings that I have in there. So you just plug in, get these settings, and play. So this is, this is what you'll hear. Another song, I Am The Law. And that's it. <laughs> wow. You gotta show me what you're doing with your right hand there. I know what I'm doing. I do a lot of things with my right no, hand. No, I'm like, oh! <laughs> Oh, I'm just hey, this joking. is a family show. Family show, sorry about so that. So keep it see, up. We went, got a good. Oh, 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 oh that's what she see. said. All right. Oh, see. Anyway, this gotta, angle, gotta. looking down here at yes. your right hand, it was absolutely fantastic. Cool, thanks. But that sounded great. So that's the settings you use on the road? Come straight out. Yeah, it's straight out into it. I wanted to make it as simple as possible to get the settings. If you like my sound, thank you for it and all that good stuff. But I want to make it, keep it simple, stupid. That's me, man. It's yeah. like, pull it out of the box, you know. Plug in, do this, go to the manual, get the settings right on, and that's what it's supposed to sound like. Now, different players, you were just talking about my right hand. I happen to hit hard. Yeah. You, if you're a lighter player, you have to adjust, maybe a little more high end or, or something a little more sustained. Yeah, a little more drive. output. You know, you get your own vibe. That's, that's the whole idea is get your whole vibe of you. Start with me and go to your sound. I think that's really important. So I think this is as simple as possible as we could have made it to. You know, as usual, with Tech 21 and Sans Amp, we make really good, right out of the box, everything at Noon Products, and this is definitely one of them. You saw the little video I did at, at the factory. I loved it, where I, I thought it I was awesome. I just took it out, I plugged it into an SVT I had in the, in the test room. Everything was at Noon, and I was just, I literally was in and out of that room like all day. Dude, it looked like you just were enjoying jamming. it. You know, oh, that's what, that's a lot what of fun. felt so good. You, you, it honestly looked like you were just jamming and not thinking and I, and I love the, the camera came in, you were just there. Yeah. I thought it was just, and you were just experimenting. And because, again, I've watched so many of your videos throughout the years and what you've done. And when, when you're testing stuff, you, you put it through a lot of, like just different parts, the, the, the stuff you play. And so I was, I really wanted you to do, to do that for this pedal. I thought it was really important that you really took it apart and really, you know, judged it. And uh, that's why I was so proud when you say you love the pedal. I knew it had the stamp. That's him stamp. That, that <laughs> oh, means everything to me. Oh, shit. Really, but it really, because I know you really mean it, and the people out there, they really care about what you say. But it was true. I, I was, you hmm. know, the day we got, the, you know, finished building the production models, I went in, plugged it in, and like I literally was in and out of there all day long yeah. with the shop P base which was cobbled together, but with parts. Which is great. With new strings on it. It just sounded great, yeah. If you can so, get it out of that, you can get it out of anything. Yeah, That's the way cool. I look at it. So, yeah, so like I got a favorite setting. I mean, here you right. I took my everything at noon and I just took a, a little bit of the, the drive off, you know, because uh, with a jazz bass, it's going to sound a little different. Totally. You know, so, so this is kind of what I'm digging with it. Mm. It sounds killer, and I was watching your right hand. I mean, you punch the shit out of these things, man. It's, it's so cool. Well, I, I kind of take these three and make one finger out of them. That, that's what I feel. Yeah. People ask me if I play with two. No, it's really the three fingers. That's what, I don't know. That's what the stability is. It yeah. really is that. But you punch on it, and again, affecting the tone, which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, see, for me, it was a proud moment hearing that you playing this pedal and sounding like that. Actually having that sound, which I think sounds pretty damn good right yeah, now. Yeah, it, it's um, a killer pedal. And another thing I noticed about it is that uh, I can change the drive settings, you know, how nasty or demure I want it to sound, without it affecting the output level that much. Right. 
like some other products do. And it was really cool because I could set the amp up or set my DAW up and uh, experiment with different levels of aggression or, you know, bark or bite or whatever you want to call it without having to reset everything back up. Right, and you that means, so, and that means it's, it's great because when you record, because I've recorded this already now, right. uh, you stay, one, it's one level. Yeah. It's a, nothing's, nothing's, oh my God, and the producer yells at you, dude, you can't use that. Right, right, can right. you make it a little dirtier? Can you, right, sure, exactly. oh shit, we gotta pull everything down. No. Exactly, it doesn't right. work, it's all one going in. Yeah. So if you have that in the studio, what I like about this pedal, and I sound like an infomercial, I don't mean to sound like that, uh, <laughs> it's, it's just the truth, I've done both now. I brought this thing out live. It's an animal. Yeah. The first thing, my, my sound man, Paul, Paul Collis, he goes, is that the new pedal? I got the nod. See the nod? He gave me the nod. He says, that's great. And I, huh. was, I was like, yes. Well, speaking of the new pedal, mm -hmm. it comes in a nifty box. Yeah. The unboxing of the pedal. The unboxing of the, of the box. So, of course, you have the, the Frank Bello Street Driver 48, which I'm going to refer to it for now on because there's a lot of words. Yeah, it's a lot of words. And I don't want to waste the words. To get around. And we get one of our killer power supplies. Now this will work in every country. It has all the adapters that you need and it's got a really strong braided cable and it's a quiet power supply. Trust me, I've seen them do this. They go through power supply after power supply until they found the right one. It doesn't introduce any noise. There's no problems. It'll work anywhere. There's two holes in a in a wall, and you can plug something in. This works, so it's killer. Because yeah. we get we get calls sometimes. Hey, I'm using this power supply. Yeah. My pedal's making noise. Well, yeah, we've had no issues on two yeah. tours. We we finished two full tours, Anthrax tours. Yeah. And we haven't had one issue at all. I mean, it's just it's just consistent. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. There's more stuff to come in the box. Oh, that's right. We right. Have to get to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What you got there? Oh, we got some stuff. So man. we wanted to make a little extra special. Yeah. Warranty <laughs> card. It keeps going. It's a deep. Tech Twenty One sticker. And the official. Frank Bello Street Driver 48 sticker. Put that on the case, the base, wherever you want to put it, your road case, whatever you want. Who wherever. did that art? Uh, actually, uh, my wife did that art. She's, she's very lucky to have me. I'm kidding. No, she did. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, no that's she pretty did cool. Great, she did See? a great job. You keep it in the family. Yeah. And then, and then a Frank killer Bello Frank Bello pick. Glow the dark, by the way. And thank you, Gail, for that. Glow in the we, we, we went above and beyond to get that glow in the dark. So it's, it's a pretty cool pick. Look, I just want to throw a little extra and say thank you. That's what this is about. And thank you for going the extra mile for this. I think this pedal um, is the right pedal uh, for, for me to go forward. So if you like what I do, give it a shot. Yeah, so, you know, like most of our pedals also, it's got XLR out, mm -hmm. which a lot of people like to use. Yeah. In today's modern times, you really don't need that. You know, I... You can run quarter inch out, mm -hmm. you know, directly to most boards yeah. or, you know, uh, the little DI box, but you don't need that with this one. And uh, it's got a couple neat little buttons that you might want to explain. Well, here's we, here we go. We, some, I like a little extra dirt occasionally, a little extra filth, whatever, you know, the dirty sound. That's what I really mean to it. So I like... My, it's funny because when I see these things, they actually, this actually came to fruition for me. I can't believe we are, we're actually doing this now because I've had this in my head for years to do this. And now with two simple buttons, you can get those sounds like that. I yeah. love that. So if you want a little bit of a, of, of a dirty, you know, you press the first filth, and that's a little bit. Then you want to go ugly and get that, that real ground, the real dirt. You have another one right there. And then we're, then we're playing real ball. It's just a lot of fun, and you could experiment, get your sound out of it. Uh, you could start from where I am, but then you can get your thing going and build your own sound so you can record your thing, and I think it's important. Why don't you show us some dirt? So, what do we got? All right, here we go. <laughs> See how clean that is, though? It's, it's still clean. It's still tight. It's retaining the low end. Exactly. I'm not losing anything. Even in no. recording, because I've used this recording with this sound. Yeah. And I'm not... There's no... You see, there's no level change. It just stays straight, but you're getting that great, like, kind of fuzzy distortion. And it's it's like, um, it's right in the middle. It's not too high, not too low. So I really... And again, by adjusting the pedals, because I've experimented with this thing nonstop in my basement, um, you just get your own vibe going and get your own 
um, your own sound that you want on your recording. I think that's really important yeah. for people to know that. So it's not just my sound. You start here and go your own way with it. I think it's, it's really great. You can do the dino and clean sounds with this. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to do it. Do it clean. I'm going to do a clean sound. You know, somewhat clean sound. I'm going to give a little lows, raise the level up a little bit. Let's see what I got here. Just drop like that. I love that's that. what that thing that's does. That's what I'm doing. What's, right. that, what's that lever thing? What the hell is that lever yeah, thing? Yeah, but no, it, it's you know. See, I, I mean, the whole thing with, with these sounds, you just played a little Iron Maiden. Love Steve. We all do. Um, so all I can do is play a little Iron Maiden. Yeah, and, uh, dude. I don't know how we, we can all just shit. play a little Iron Maiden because yeah. it's Steve. He's the master. Yeah. Um, I love that you can get, can you get, and this is a fanboy talking right now, can you get your Getty Lee bass oh, on? Yeah. Would you mind that? Yeah. Actually, so, I, I dialed it in. See, you see this? For your manual, man. I love the manual that you can I, go to it, and I, it sounds like I sat like at it. my desk, and I did this. And this is you saying this. This is you doing this, yeah, and that's what I love, because I know yeah, it's going to yeah. be right. So right? nice. It's so pretty. It, and it you know what? But I'm, I'm proud of that. that one, of my, one of my people that I've grown up on, we can get that sound out of the pedal. That's yeah. really important to me. I think what I had in mind for that was the Moving Pictures album when I dialed yeah. it in. Because yeah. I think I was doing like the, uh, the Red Barchetta, you know. And it sounds, it sounds right to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're it's, not it's missing totally anything. Right you can record that. Yeah. You can record and, and be... And be happy with the sounds. Like, oh, that's almost like Eddie. I think it right. sounds pretty good. I love the Getty pedal too. We have we're all family, mm -hmm. right? Love the Steve pedal. Uh, this gives you options. I want to have options. Yeah, you know, and I think it's important. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah, there's a bunch of sample settings yeah. in here. John, our engineer, came up with a bunch as well. You know, we got the three Franks. Yes, and the, I, I I love Frank Bellow number four, <laughs> dirtiest bastard. <laughs> well, a lot of people have called me that in my day. That's just the way it works. Uh, I mean, look, you have one of my, my all-time favorites, um, Cheap Trick. You know, right. we can, you want to go to that? Can, no, 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 oh. no. I'm dialing in oh, something See, the, the great thing is we can go to our little manual here and get all our sounds. You can do this at home. That's what <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can. Hey, wait, there's more. I, all right. I know, I know one I want you to do next. You know what you want me to do next? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me do this Cheap Trick thing yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure my eyes can actually see the damn. See, this is a, I grew up on a band called, you guys know, Cheap Trick, Tom Peterson's bass sound, and just incredible bass sound in every way. Um, it's more of a, a distorted yet, uh, it's so tight, so tight, but he plays with a pick. Yeah. So it was a staccato kind of vibe. Do you have a pick on you? I had I one. I just had I, one. I think I lost Where, mine. Where'd the Frank Bellow pick go? In the box? Is it in the box? Frank Bellow took it. The Frank, no, oh, I put, Frank Bellow put it yeah, here. There it is. Frank Bellow found it. Frank Bellow found it. <laughs> Frank Bellow can't remember shit anymore. That's what Frank Bellow can't do. <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> Sorry. So Tom Peterson has this tight uh, kind of distortion, yet it's, it's smooth distortion. I call it like that, but it's so, it sticks out. It's yeah. the sound of Cheap Trick, and I, I've always loved that. You know what I mean? It's, it's it still, stay, still stays tight. I well, love it. Well, that, see, the, the thing with overdrive and distortion, it sucks low end out. Right. You know? So uh, we're lucky enough to have Andrew Barta building these things, and uh, it keeps our low end. You know? Oh, you, you were saying the, the thing? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. It was, we're not, see, everyone witnessed the glitch in the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering. There was, yeah. Ooh, power <laughs> well, I saw it. No, no yeah. big deal. Now the monitor shuts itself off if nothing happens. But afterwards. let's talk about Andrew for a second. Um, Andrew, he's tall. He's tall. Yeah. He's tall and he's funny. 
He's, he's got a great sense dude, of humor. I piss my pants. He's a at work funny half dude. The time. He comes he's from great. He comes from a humble background. Oh, you yeah. can tell that he works for yeah. what he loves. Uh, that when we first met, I knew I could talk to him uh, just ear wise, you know, because yeah. I've, I've been a fan of his for years of what he's done here. Mm-hmm. So uh, he knew immediately what I was talking about. That's what's scary about this whole thing. This didn't like I knew I've been working at it for a long time, but I knew what I wanted, and he just made the the knobs work that way and get it right. Um, and I have to tip my hat to him because it's a couple of things I said I wanted and I, I turned some knobs and how about this, how about this? And within that first day, we were good. I like when you came up and you were explaining to him what you wanted and he just went, okay. It was, I was almost afraid. That's all I need to hear. I was afraid that he said that because it's no, I said, there's no way this guy's gonna nail this thing right now. How can he do it? But he did. Oh yeah. And, but he did. and I. I knew he was good, but not that right. good. I mean, it's, he, he really nailed it. And, uh, and then when you guys sent me the first, the first one, the prototype, I was, I was in heaven. Because yeah. he- it was coming true. Yeah. It was coming true, and well, I knew it would be right. I knew it was going to be a banger when uh, I can hear him, like when he gets near the final stages of stuff, yeah. the noises coming out of the office. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll be passing by Dale's office going, what the hell is that? You know? My God, that sounds great. You See, know? That's what I want to hear because when, I remember you told me that a while back and you said you were passing by and it started to sound really good. Yeah. And I said, oh, that's because nothing had come through. Yeah. Yet. I was like, yeah, these were, Andrew's going for it. And yeah, I love yeah. it. He took his time with it and made sure it was the right, the, oh, yeah. everything we talked about. Yeah. So I'm really psyched about that. Killer pedal, man. Thanks. Totally killer pedal. Very versatile. You know, uh, so I got this P bass over here Ooh. that you were checking out. Oh, yes. Ooh, I think and maybe. What a I want you to do the Van Halen. Oh, of course. Sure. Dial the Van Halen sure. in, and I'll get, I'm going to get a Absolutely. P bass. Unless somebody wants to hand me a P bass. Is it this one? Yes. This is the it's the heavy one. one. It's like a boat. <laughs> Maron! That's a heavy bass. It is. It's switch. So, here you go, man. Okay, here we go. Thank you, sir. I got, oh my God, this thing is insane. Hold on. Stop the presses. Hey, have fun. I'm going to get the settings right. If I had my glasses, it would be a lot easier. Yeah, give me your glasses for a second. We'll edit this part out, okay? Rock and roll! That's so good. What a song, huh? Away, I'm forever. That was bully by Why Why Not. That sounded so yeah. good. That sounded so good. No, but you see what just happened? I just plugged into the pedal. Mm. I'm playing a cool bass, and I just went away. That's the idea. That's the best part. That's what you can do. That's what I, that's what we love about bass. But when you have something as cool as that, you know, and just it just takes you away. Yeah. You're confident in the sound, and you can just keep playing. That's the idea. You need more uh, level. Yeah. Oh, you're over here. Oh. I'm a- <laughs> you're over here. Wait. That's right. I'm playing I was on your twisting pedal. your knobs. I'm doing your knobs. <laughs> All right. Twisting hold his on. knobs. You just dialed in. Yeah, hold Van, on. Go to Van Halen. This is on something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so go Jesus. To, go to Van right. Halen on I'm, that. Let me go to Van Halen. Hold on. <laughs> Ready? And it's, uh, it's, it's That's like, it's like running with the devil. Yes. Just the pound and eat. It's killer, right? Yeah. And I, uh, you know the song Romeo's the Light? Oh yeah. Sounds like it. Feel my heartbeat. Feel my heartbeat. Feel my heartbeat. 
and then Eddie comes in with that fucking and it fucking sounds cool. So yeah, I, I again the Van Halen sound. Been jamming that with some friends of mine. Yeah. So it's just having fun. Again, we can go completely opposite. That's not Anthrax. That's for sure, right? Yeah. So we can go another another. Oh, absolutely. Phase. And yeah. that's the whole idea: is use everything. This it's infinite. I really feel it's infinite. You could start here and get something else out of it. So it's all good. Yeah, it's a killer product. Yeah, and I'm really happy at the way it came out. Uh, I, we couldn't have picked a better guy to work with. Same here. I feel thank, honestly. Thank you for so much to hear that. I'm so fortunate. I feel so fortunate to, fortunate to be part of this family. Because look, let's face it. You guys have my favorite players on it. Some of my favorite players on this. You know, there was the roster is incredible. Think mm -hmm. about it. So to be in, incorporated with that and involved with. Because I've been a fan, you guys have, know how long I've been a fan of this company, and it does, it's not a kiss-ass thing. It's just the truth. I'm happy to be here. This is very home for me. So um, to come home like this and give a product like this and really feel it, uh, and they went to bat. You guys went to bat for me. You really did. And uh, in not only promotion, but we made sure the pedal's right. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. proud of this pedal. I'm, you know, everything is right now. I, I can say, you know. Now, I was a fanboy long before I was an employee, hmm. all right? So my love for Tech 21 is deep, yeah, very deep. But what's really super cool is, you know, sometimes they say maybe it's not so great to meet your idols, you know. It was. No. <laughs> they don't just slap a name on a pedal, you That's know, and so call cool. it the X pedal or yeah. the Y pedal, right. you know. No, it, this was built from the ground up to your specifications. And they got it, and yeah. honestly, nailed it. Nailed it is not even close to what it really is, because when I can go home in my basement where I play, like you do here, and have my sound available, yeah. think about that. I don't have to go to any amp or anything like that. Yeah. I just love that I can, I can share this with people now, and that's the truth. People have been asking me for a long time, how do you get your sound? I'm giving you it right here. That's the God's honest truth. I'm literally giving, you, giving it to you in the pedal, this pedal has my sound and a plethora of more. Right. Yeah. And we're recording this direct live through Reaper. If you really want to curdle your milk, put this into an SVT or something, or a heart key, yeah. or a GK. Put it into something that's moving lots of air, and you find another facet of its brilliance. Absolutely. You know? It punches you in the face. It's a punch in the face. It yeah. really is a punch in the face. When yeah. you put, we, we have an SVT here. You plug that thing in, you pl plug that baby in, you're going to be blowing air. We're gonna. And it'll pun it's a punch in the, <laughs> look, I love the punch in the face yeah. from this. It's great. Yeah. You know, it makes me, it makes me know that we did it all right. And it's, it's, and we're giving people out there what they thought they'd get. Right. You, oh, I got a story that I wanted to talk to you about. I'm all about stories. Go for it. I want to hear it. First off, you do the best Gene Simmons impression I ever heard. Let me tell life. you something. I do not do anything <laughs> that would if, interfere with my relationship with Gene Simmons. You understand? <laughs> now, Gene's, uh, I love Gene Simmons. I've known him a lot of years. He's a big influence on me. Yeah, I know. And uh, he also guided the way of, of a man, quite <coughs> honestly, of a man who came from a family without a dad mm -hmm. and showed me the way how to do it. Yeah. So he... He made his career without a dad in his life, and that meant a lot to me. Yeah. So, um, uh, and plus, he's just Gene. He's the best. He's the biggest-hearted guy in the world. Gene Simmons is the reason that I'm playing bass. Really? Oh, absolutely. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. I didn't. Wow. Oh, awesome. I was a little peanut in Farmingdale, Long Island. What the hell is this Kiss stuff? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I think I was like eight years old, so that would be, you know, early '70s, mm -hmm. mid '70s. You know, Kiss was just rocking. Of course. You know. And uh, I was the biggest Kiss fanatic. I want to play bass. I want to be Gene Simmons. So my parents went to the Roosevelt Mall or the Hicksville of Mall. Of course. Or it, I think it was called Monroe Music, all right? And they bought me this bass that was made out of like this. It was like, it was like <laughs> yeah. flat plywood, yeah. you know? It, it was a cameo. Yeah, it's a starter. But I'm sitting there doing, you know. Yeah, so... He, Big influence on me, Kiss too. I got to see him at the Garden in 77 or me 78. Me too. Yeah, I was there two nights, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it was 10 in 70, 78, somewhere around there. And uh, it was great, but then Rush, of course. Oh. But regardless, I'm talking to my neighbor a couple days ago, and uh, we're talking about music. He's like, oh, do you play bass? I said, yeah, yeah. He goes, he goes, my mom went to high school with Gene Simmons. 
But I said, oh, that's cool. He goes, but the funny thing is I didn't find out until like I was in my, you know, 30s or whatever. She goes, oh, yeah, I went to school with Gene Simmons. And the first thing I said was, you slept with Gene Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> you get it, right? That was the first totally, thing. Totally, my mom slept totally. with Gene Simmons. No, I just went to high school with him. <laughs> well, Gene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I just wanted to add that. So, <laughs> with, with that must have been in Queens back 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 when, right? Gene grew up in Queens, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah so, so somewhere. Yeah, awesome. Wow. Some people consider Queens Long Island. Yeah, well, yeah, it's true. There's Cross no over. bridge. Yeah, yeah. So it counts. So the thing is, with with Kiss coming into my life, that made me want to get on stage. Yeah, always. And Gene yeah. and Paul, you know, just what they did on stage. And Gene's sound to this day is still amazing. Gene Simmons bass sound is still incredible. It's like this heavy distortion thing, but it fits so well. Again, another influence in my head. Always to have the, you know, our, you know. Dude, Detroit Rock there. City. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Come on. Do, 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 do. Seriously. Yeah. See, During the verse. And it's do, hard do, do, do. to do it's, that, it's a, not for nothing. Absolutely. It's a, you know? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, do, 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 yeah, do, do. yeah. Oh, oh. Play it. Play. You got a pick? I think you can... I love that. I love that whole thing that he does. But then, Gene, um, you know, a hundred thousand years. Oh yeah. Oh. The first Kiss song I ever learned was was this one. Yeah. She. Yep. She walks by moonlight. Love that song. So Keep good. going, man. Uh, I don't know if you want me to. I do the Paul Stanley. Each and the star. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm not done yet. I'm getting to the good part. Yeah, I'll go. I'll do three chords. Oh shit. Oh, that's so. I know she's going down, going. Everybody knows Keep she's going. Oh, it's fucking so good. So, so many good. Did you ever, did you ever see that that thing? Uh, the Paul Stanley GPS. GPS. Voice. Oh, like for like ways. I never got. I heard about this. God, I gotta show it to you. You have it's it. Hysterical. Yeah, How do I record it's like it in a mind? YouTube video, man. I would totally put that in my my, my oh, totally mind. totally do that all the time. Listen, I want you to make a right turn on this <laughs> That's one. What it's like, there's the camera. There's the camera. Be careful. You know, you calculating. Like, I'm been calculating. <laughs> Listen, how you doing? Good morning to your car. <laughs> You're gonna need some gas soon. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Now, listen, I want you to make a left at the next stop sign. No, you went too far. Now, I want you to reverse it back. That would be Gene. Go back and forth. <laughs> we'll just keep going back and forth. Listen, go, right. no, no, no. You're, you're, right. you're going too fast, Frank. I want you to slow it down right now. Right. Gene's the best. And then, like, every seven miles, please swipe your credit card for more directions. <laughs> <laughs> these, these are kiss. These are kiss directions. These right, are kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss.com. Oh, you gotta love him. He's, he's the best. Right. He's the best. So, I had a blast. Man. I had a blast. Always a fun time. I knew doing this with you would make me relax and just have fun and get the real deal sounds out of this thing. It makes, yeah. It makes all the difference to me. So thank you for doing it this. It really too. is a great product. Thank you. I love it. I like it. I love you, man. You're a I great you dude, too. man. Dude, I've been you a know? fan of yours before I knew you. Really? So, so there you go. Yep. I've watched all those videos. <sighs> You've taught me many, many a sound, many, um, many. When I when I have a problem learning a rush, or you just dig in. No, I appreciate. It. We talked about this a long time right. ago. You get the little parts, the little parts that mean a lot that you hear in the album that you say, wait, and like people would just jam some stuff like a rush song and just go over it. You get the little parts, and I think that's so important. The little cookies. You know why you I know? do the little parts? Because I have to. Yes. Because it, it's. You know, like sometimes when you revisit a song, you know this, or whatever, or you, your own stuff even, like my own stuff. Yeah. Like Bully, you know, I was getting Bully ready for the last couple of shows, and I'm playing it along, and I'm like, something just sounds dissonant. You know, why is it dissonant? So, something missing? Something is different, mm. you know, and then you dig into it, and then it's like when you do the perfect swing, and you hit the ball, and you don't even feel it. 
Right. You know? It's just, but if yeah. you hit it off the end of the bat, it's shaking all the way down to your ankles. Hmm. You know what I mean? It, it's that thing. I think it's that that strive for mastering our craft that we just have. Yeah, and once you get that confidence, after you get that part, it's, the, it's a win. It's like that puzzle. The yeah. piece of the puzzle you couldn't find. Yeah. Where the freak is this puzzle piece? Yeah. You finally get the damn thing, right. and then it just grooves, man. And it looks, and you just say, oh. Right. Like, uh, like the time. second solo in YYZ. Go. <laughs> oh, no. Come, Come on, on, man. Go. Oh, stop. I'll give you this. No, no, I'll do this. I, I'll love that forever. That thing was killing me, man, that... So you, did you do that with your ear? Yeah. Did you watch some YouTube? Did you watch, because I, sometimes I just watch Getty live and try to get, but he does it different every time. <coughs> There's always a little something different yeah, yeah. about it. Yeah, no, he's, a, he's quite different, but I would study him as a little kid. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I saw him do Analog Kid like on one string once, and I don't wow. know how he, I don't know. What I, I want to see that video, I, honestly. I, I, it wow. was 1982 or whatever at Nassau Coliseum. Wow. No, I saw it with me. You know, wow. he just, I, I, you know what? He was having fun. Yeah. Getty's just playing a, with us, man. Big deal if, just, he, if he messes it up. Uh, you know, he was just yeah. having fun. It's his and, thing. and that's what it's all about. Out Absolutely. there, what, what do they say? The, the greatest home run hitters have the most strikeouts. Right. Unless you're Yogi Bear. Of course. Right. Yes, it's true. It's a good point. Right? True story. That's true. Do you, um, when you do them live, because you do these, these songs, these Rush songs so well live, do you screw around or do you stay to what, like as it stage left, what do you do? Is it, what depends do you say to? It, it depends on what version we're doing. Yeah, do you have and a specific for why? Why not they do that? Yeah, yeah. We normally decide let's do this bootleg version from like <laughs> really? 1980 in Arizona. Bootlegs too. Yeah, like uh, something oh. for nothing. Yeah, I love that man. Like, wow. And but you know what the coolest thing is? Like at the merch table after, guys are coming. Oh, you did that version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and the only thing different about it is maybe like. Like we do this version of uh, what you're doing, you know. The solo version has a little different groove, you know, and people get it. It's you know, fun. Neil added in, but those guys were doing, you know, 200 shows, 300 shows yeah. a year. They want so to get come out mix it up, stuff. mix it up a little bit. In general. Enough of that. Oh, yeah. We're here about you. I just you. love listening. We're here about you. This is what happens when two bass players get together. That's yeah. true. We could babble about anything. We could talk for hours, and we have, which I love. And Actually, we will. Yeah, and we will. We're not done yet. After folks. this video is done, we're not we're done. Talk we're not done. More. All right, so Frank, thank you so much for coming here. Thank you, Tim. Thank very you much for having for me. Thank you for coming to my studio, demoing your product. You know, I, I, I'm just so happy that we're doing this, and I'm sure everybody's going to dig it. Thank uh, you. I know you love it. I love it. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm so psyched about just being with the family here at Tech 21. Um, I think uh, you guys out there, for me, I'm not trying to sell you a pedal. Um, I'm just, this is what I do. If you want to try, check it out, great. If you don't, that's fine too, but check it out. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> check it out. I, don't want to, I don't want to be the hard salesman, you know? I just, this is something that I believe in. Yeah. So if you like my sound, uh, this is how to get it. It does it and more. Yeah. All right. From Frank and myself, peace out. Peace out, everybody.